Hi everyone, so happy you took the time again to come over and watch a new video of us. For everyone who is new here, my name is Yanni and I'm doing this channel together with my daughter-in-law Diane. And today I have an early Christmas DIY for you. Uh, when I look at my YouTube friends, when they are going to shopping and I always see the beautiful jar signs and I always love them so much but we don't have them here. So I want to make one of my own, so I take you along in my wooden DIY sign. It is very, very easy to make, so I hope you do get a little bit inspired to make one of your own. So if you like this content and you like this video, give Diana me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because uh, there will be a lot of more beautiful Christmas DIYs coming soon. So like I always say, enough talking, let's jump into our DIY. So you see, for this DIY I will use some um, jars, I printed them out uh, of Google, but of course uh, the print is not <laughs> did not go well, but I don't need print, for me it's just only I need the lines uh, above here. I will draw them on a piece of wood, because I want to make two of the um, jars signs, because here in the Netherlands uh, we have a brand Country Fields and it is a very expensive brand and I love what they do for Christmas. It is so much um, fun to watch their website. It's so much fun but it is so expensive. So I want to make um, the cute uh, jars I see all over YouTube but here in the Netherlands, I, like I said, uh, we don't have a Dollar Tree which they are very uh, cheap. So. We have to do it what we can make our own, so I will make two of the jars uh, for myself. So I will cut this one out and I will put it on uh, a piece of wood and then I draw it out. I show you that in a moment. So you see I found a piece of wood. It's just a great uh, size of wood because um, I don't waste a lot of uh, wood. I always uh, find that so... Um, here in the Netherlands we call it Zonde. <laughs> so I always try to make from every piece of wood I use uh, that it is so um, uh, the greatest when you can use it on your uh, thing and you don't waste a lot of uh, wood. So I will place this one here and of course I do a second one over here. And first I'm going to draw it with a, a pencil and after that I will... Um, um, go over it with a text marker because that's uh, I think that uh, works a little bit better when you have to saw it out you can see uh, better the black lines so first I'm going to um, do it on my uh, wood and then I show you how he looks like on my wood and then we go outside so you see now I have the two pieces on my uh, board and of course now I will mark them down with my black um, marker so then you can then I can see it better when I am going to sew it outside. So you see this is finished also and now I'm ready to go outside and outside. <laughs> now I'm ready to go outside and just sew the pieces out and then we are ready to work with them. So but I think they already look very cute and I'm especially because we don't have them here, it's always fun to make them your own.
so you see here this is my uh, was my example and this is how they turn out and what I will do now is I go to spray paint them in the black color to give them an undercoat and then I will paint them uh, afterwards I paint them in a couple of the lid I will paint in a little bit of the gray tones and probably I'll do some em embellishment over here but first I'm going to spray paint them in the black color so go outside with me so you see here my box I prepared for uh, spray painting you see already I have an old box I use and then I can spray paint inside of it. So you see already I am back from my garage and you see already I spray painted not outside but just inside <laughs> because it was too much rain outside and I have a patio where I can spray paint outside but it was so much cold and so much rain. So you see already I just um, when I um, saw them out I just give them like you saw a spray paint in the matte black color and of course what I will do first right now is to go on and dry brushing the lid so you get a little bit more of uh, that it will look like a jar so a little bit like this and of course then I will you can also do, do some chalk paint, chalk paint on it and then you can write on it for your own but what I will do this time is I will go to do a print of it I made on my magic I made uh, my own print again and of course I did one without some color and I did two of them with color so uh, I'm a little bit debating still if I do a little bit with the red touches because it is for the Christmas season so I think I will go for the um, one with a little bit of the darker red color but first what we are going to do is dry, is dry brush a little bit of the lid so it will look like a lid so I hope I will concede and it will look like a lid I'm doing my best so let's do that first so first what I'm going to do is do some paint uh, on my little um, display and of course I bought the metallics from uh, here we call it the action and of course I think you also have it in the Dollar Tree Dollarama the pounds Poundland I think it's in England I have the silver color metallic and of course the gold color metallic and the copper one metallic but I'm going for the silver metallic so I'm going to do this first and I'm doing some white uh, on it so because the black is already the undertone so I will do first some, whoop, this is going to run already, that one and of course some white because I want to finish also with some little white. So now we are going to first dry the mud portrait with some silver touches, I'm just spray painting I will keep it whole because or else you will be very because the and I'm just dry brushing it on my little towel it's of course it is an old towel and of course I'm just make some longer leaves of longer lines I think it's just a better word I think and of course a little bit uh, out of the sides because then the sides are also a little bit dry brushed and I do it a little bit further than the lid because the, the my um, picture will be a little bit over here so it can be a little bit lower so it gives already a little bit of a different look and of course I'm going to do some white A little bit mixture of white with them and of course again a little bit in the lines of how a jar would, uh, <laughs> would go of course if you just want to do a picture of a lid is also fine but you see already he already looks a little bit like a lid at least I think so <laughs> I 
think so. I am not a great painter, so I'm doing my best. And of course, just tip a little bit sideways, just so you, when you are looking a little bit at the side of your um, uh, sign, so you always see also a little bit. And of course, try to make the lines straight, so it looks a little bit more like a lid. So now I'm going to do the other one first. I'm going to do the silver color. Again, just making straight lines. You see, it's so easy. Everyone can do it. I always say, if I can do it, you can do it. And of course, a little bit also here. Give it a little bit to the sideways. Now I'm going to do the white. Also try to do it a little bit. You see that it goes in lines. And I see already this one is a little bit more white than this one, so I'm the do a couple of little lines also extra here so they will be a little bit like the same color I will look you see already I have the, this one a little bit wider already than this one so we're going to do it a little bit further so I don't maybe I do a little because I think he's turned out a little bit too uh, white right now A little bit of silver again because I don't like it when he is too white I have a hair in it that's not really what I want so also a little piece of silver also over here because White is okay, but not too much. But you see, it's just a little bit playing with your piece. So, now I take a little brush, and of course I'm going to do also a little bit in the silver. And just dry brush it, some little lines, a little bit more. So, a little bit, so it gives a little bit more of a lit feeling. And of course, with this one also, just dry brush it, and of course, with some lines where you should have normally the silver of the lid. So, I think he looks okay, and I know it's outside of my lines, but that will be okay when I mud parch it. So... This has to dry first and then I will be back with you. So in the meantime I will cut the little um, uh, signs of mine. I will cut them out right now and then I uh, am going to measure already a little bit where I want to have it. Because you can uh, put your uh, jar on it and you just also can measure it out this way. And of course um, you just can do it your own way. But I will first I will cut this out and then I show you how they are looking like uh, as a jar. <laughs> but I don't think uh, I. Sorry if I don't tell you because if I can show it to you when I'm cutting my uh, paper, but I don't think you are really <laughs> looking forward to see that. So I am uh, cutting my paper so out of the camera. So I did cut them out right now and now I'm going to try to because they are still a little bit uh, wet. So I am, uh, did uh, measure them out. I'm just uh, lying them uh, over the front and of course I'm going to try because they are very sharp to uh, the sides. So I'm going to try to give them the measurement I need. So just go around with your finger and just push it the sides inside of your paper then you can probably but that, at least what I hope that I take it out and then you can see exactly the measurement your jar has 
but you see already how he looks like already I think already he looks very Christmassy so I'm going to cut this also out and then I show you again so you see I am measured them out the best I could so I'm first I'm going to try to mud podge it on my jar so I hope this will work because it is a little bit of a task to get them just exactly around here so I hope that he comes up very nice but with mud pots I have uh, different effects one time it goes uh, great and the other time it goes uh, with lots of wrinkles so we are going to do our best more we can do so I'm going to try to get it a little bit over here and I just hoping that he will fit have to get the wrinkle out. This is always every time I find it always a little bit <laughs> stressing to get it out and to get it look like that it looks nice so I have to get the wrinkles out. First I'm going to let it dry and to uh, then I do a mud potty for the second time but first I'm going to let it dry this time. I'm going to try, the, most of the time I do the second coat already uh, immediately, but this time I'm going to try to let it dry first and then do the second coat. So we're going to see if this, work, if this will work again, but I already love how he looks like. So I do the next one. So you see this is the second one and I already cut, cut him out. So I'm going to mud podge him the same way I did the first of course I'm going to make a line and I hope that he will go the same way like the first one and that's why I also painted him black because what you would think why does she paint it black because you're still mud podging it because this wood and wood always takes a lot of your uh, mud podge uh, is drawn to it so now I have painted it now the mud pot will stick better on my on my uh, little jar here so let's do this one also I will do it I will hope I have to look if I don't put him upside down So I'm sorry if I don't talk right now, <laughs> but I am always so scared that he doesn't fit or that he is too short or... Now I have to get the wrinkles a little bit out. And also this one I will mud pot the second time a little bit later, I'm going to try if this works better then do it immediately so also let's try this one also and I will be back with when they are coated for the second time
So you see I have the Mod Podge uh, on top of it and I think they look so cute. So what I will do now, uh, right now is just to finish it off with some uh, greenery and some twine. But first we're going to do some twine around, twine of rope just how you call it. Um, I just do glue it uh, with my glue gun on the back side and then I do a couple of times uh, under my, uh, around my little jar and then I will if just I don't know if I do it uh, three four times you just have to see how it looks like for you of course this for everyone uh, different so I first I glue it um, a little piece a little drop of for my glue gun and of course I will glue it to and be sure that it will stay this way and of course just around just to get I still hope I did it on camera and just a couple of times also to give a little bit of the the sides another look so I think this is enough now I'm turning it around and of course I'm doing a little piece of glue here under and now I'm going to put my rope in it and I hope he will stick this way and of course I will cut it off and I just do a little bit of extra glue just on top of it so I will be sure that it stays in place so you see already he looks so nice and of course I will do the, the uh, second one and maybe what I will do um, later is that I do a little piece of rope and I make a little uh, bow beside here so we will see but at first I'm going to do the other one and I let it uh, this dry and for now of course I am going to work or finish it off a little bit of course I did the twine around it you already see here but now I will do a little piece of uh, Christmas greenery it's on my old from the last years so you can use everything what you have in your stairs also the rope you see for this jar you don't need almost anything because you just need a little piece of old wood you just draw a little I will uh, do an, uh, a link for the Google um, the Google picture I used I will do a link in the, my, my description box so you can just print it out just saw it out just paint it just do a little um, um, picture on it and of course some rope around it and just finish it off with some old pieces you already have in your stash and of course now I'm gluing this on top of here a little piece just to finish it off I have to wait of course when the light is green and this this one like I said is so easy my wireless um, glue gun because he is so great to use and of course I gluing this on top of here and I hope he will stick this way but of course you never know and of course some piece of greenery over here a little bit beside here I don't really have the feeling that he doesn't like to stick this way of course a little piece this way you see just little pieces of your greenery just glue it in of course I hate the <laughs> the the, the, the wires that it gives the glue but a glue gun it is so easy and you see now I already he looks already very Christmassy but I still want to finish it up with some couple of my uh, berries you see here I just have an, uh, another branch and you just cut off what you need 
first I'm going to do a little bit of the darker color and a little bit of the lighter color and just glue it on top of your always make sure that you don't burn yourself <laughs> like, like I do And some little one. I just do something. It's no rhyme or reason why why everything is right you just do a little bit what you think is, is right and I think he looks already so nice so I will do the second one I will do it with the camera for everyone who doesn't like it to see it just um, go forward and go to the end result of course I'm just picking just you see here just a little piece of the greenery I just use and just glue it on here and again just two pieces of the little ones of my I don't know here in the net we call it denner denner naalden so I always uh, cut the ends of it so you see don't see the plastic so of course again to the back side just do it and just glue it on here but of course glue it whatever you want and you think it fits if you want to do more than what I did just feel free because everyone likes a different way of decorating their pieces what I only want to show you is how easy it is just to make something um, beautiful for almost nothing so I just cut a little piece off here again because I also have this one on the other side so already a little one a bigger red one of course and a darker red one I already had in my other of course one over here and a little darker one I have to find a little darker one here so of course I just with a scissor I'm just working a little bit piece of it I just glue it on top of here I think I will do it here because I want a little bit of the same way I did the other one so still of course cut a little piece of the berry then here you have a little bit bigger piece to glue on and of course this one over here and I always keep uh, getting the wires off the at least the, the glue wires and of course this one you see also so that I use them at the other one and of course just work it and then I show you how they are looking like so you see this is one and this is the second one I think they look so nice and this is something it is unique you can buy it because you made it your own and it is so easy so I hope you did you did get a little bit inspired to make your own little jar because we can buy them here but also if you could buy them maybe it's more fun if you make it uh, your own so 
in a moment I show you where I did hang them and of course then I I see you in a moment so and for I, for I forget I just made a little blue, uh, bow from a uh, little rope so if you like it you still can glue a little bow in beside here and you see already he also looks very nice I'm not really a bow type so I don't know if I will glue this one but if you like it of course you can do and you see just how easy it is just to do a little bow so I just wanted to show you <laughs> if you want to you still can do a little bow with it so this is just an example how you can decorate it because I want them here of course with my little coffee station but of course this will not stay this way but I just do it for to show you the ideas that you can do but of course it just goes on the sign and I love how my jar is looking like so he's so cute and of course the little nutcrackers I bought yesterday for only uh, $3.99 so I really think they are great this year so this is one of my little jars now we're going to my second one so here's my second one I hope the lightning is not too bad so here you see the second one I have a little bit further than my coffee station of course some little muff muffins or little cakes and of course it's only temporarily just to show you my um, wooden jar so you can make it on time for your Christmas season if you did get a little bit inspired and saw how easy it was just to make your own. I love how they turned out. So this was my wooden Christmas DIY from making my own jar sign like you see. I had so much fun making both of them. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made them and if you like this content I hope you will subscribe to the end of my channel. And I'm already so happy that you made it to the end. So thank you for that. And for everyone, have a beautiful, beautiful day. Stay safe, take care of yourself and take care of each other. And we hope to see you in our new video. Love from the enemy. Bye everyone.